What's up y'all? Today let's review a tripod that I got for Christmas. It's pretty dang cool. What's poppin' y'all? Uh, I got quite a few really awesome things, really useful things for Christmas this year that I'll be um, probably reviewing kind of one by one in like the next month or so. The first thing I just kind of want to do a quick little review on is this cool tripod I got. Right now I have my camera on my old tripod. Apparently it's a true digital. I think it was like $15 when I got it. It's plastic. It's not smooth at all for B-roll footage. And um, it's decently high. It's good for like straight on shots like this. If I want to do any B-roll footage where I want to do a little like gradual turning, no. Nah, it's way too, uh, I don't know, it's just not greased up or something. I don't know. It's really not good for that. Which is why I got this one from Dolika. So I'll start off by uh, telling you guys the highest this thing will go is about 60 inches. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, extended all these three um, portions here and then this little middle portion here as well. So uh, that's pretty tall and you can also make it go really short. Um, I got it as low as 17 inches because these little things here retract and then look the legs will go forward like that. So it's like kicking somebody. Um, so that's really cool and then it locks into place at like a pretty good um, angle just for uh, you know just standing I guess so uh, that's pretty nice with some of the pictures on the box they had it laying like totally flat like all of these flat but for me I can't get this middle portion to go totally flat so by totally flat this thing is up a little bit so that's why it only uh, the lowest I could get it was 17 inches this thing doesn't come with manual so I don't even know if this middle portion is to removable I couldn't get it to remove at all I got this little hook to remove and you can remove the camera mounting here but beyond that um, I don't know I don't think this removes and if it does they should at least give us a manual to tell it does tell us that it does remove oh and maybe I should touch on the appearance of this thing it's pretty nice first off very very light and it's pretty short whenever you have the thing totally contracted like um, I, have, I have my camera a little bit close to me, but I mean look how small it is and then it goes way bigger than that as well Which is really cool, but it's light so you're not gonna be killing your arms carrying this thing around even if you have a Pretty heavy camera. I mean this is gonna lighten your load quite a bit because it's aluminum Which is pretty lightweight metal all the legs have like cushiony stuff on them, which is totally awesome uh, It's there's a little bubble here um, plenty of adjustments with uh, rotation pivot um, and then once you have your camera installed uh, there's um, abilities to tighten it on there so it's not wiggling around at all and then of course you got this little middle thing which you can go up and down um, and it has a little hook on there which you can I guess do some wires with if you want to and then like I said earlier you can uh, kick these legs out and make it uh, make it do like a kickstand thing I guess which is a uh, pretty cool as well one thing about uh, the appearance I guess in this thing I just really am not a big fan of well in uh, appearance and functionality I guess these uh, adjusters right here for the legs because there's three sections and well three sections not including the main section I guess but getting them open it's just ah it's a, it's a, they're very tight um, I mean maybe it's just because this thing's brand new but whew, man are they tight to open up so maybe this will get a little bit easier after time gosh do I hope so but uh, man these things are really tight and uh, it'll hurt your fingers, honestly. It hurt mine at least. And I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the camera mounting solution. So here's the plate that goes directly on the camera. And um, I like it. Let me cover up my face so it focuses on that, hopefully. But uh, I like it, but um, I don't know. I feel like it's not the most stable. Um, so I don't know. The tripod I bought maybe like a year and a half or two years ago, I like the mounting solution on that better. I don't know what to really say about it. I mean, it's good, it's metal, it has some rubber, so it's not gonna hurt your camera. Um, and it goes on fairly easy. And once you have it on there, you can tighten it with this knob right here. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but at the same time, it's not the breaking point of this tripod. But anyways, uh, this tripod's really cool. You can twist it, you can pivot it. Um, it's just really damn cool. It's pretty tall if you want it to be tall, if it's pretty short if you want to be short. Uh, it's really not too expensive, which is awesome as well. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys some B-roll footage. I got Charlie underneath the Christmas tree. Actually, I was probably showing that earlier as well. But this thing, holy crap, is it smooth. One maybe nice addition would be a handle to turn it with. Um, the way it is right now, I mean, you just have to basically hold onto your camera and turn it, um, which isn't a big deal. But, um, 
you know, I handle it a bit nice. But uh, anyways, yeah, just B-roll footage, turning, you know, doing, you know, side, side swipes is really good. If you want to go up and down, man, it's that smooth as well. And you can, of course, adjust the resistance or not resistance um, for the, uh, you know, turning left and right and then up and down. Um, it's just awesome. And it's really smooth, really great for professional B-roll footage. Um, you still have to be a little bit careful to not be too jumpy, which I have a tendency to do in my VR footage, so you guys probably still notice that from time to time. But uh, anyways, uh, this thing is really cool. It's going to help out my VR footage quite a bit. And if you guys want a good, affordable tripod, try out Delica, I guess. Whatever the hell that, uh, if you, however the hell you pronounce that. Uh, it's a pretty cool tripod. I like it. Uh, it's going to help out my VR footage quite a bit. Maybe not still footage just like this, but I mean, any tripod can do that. Um, doing pretty good swipes and everything. Takes a pretty good greased tripod, tripod, not tripod, and uh, I think it does a, uh, it does the job pretty well. I hope you guys like that burp. Well, thank you guys for watching this review and dealing with my burping. Uh, if you guys like this review, drop a like on it, and if you want to subscribe to the channel to see some more B-roll footage from this thing, subscribe to the channel, yo. Um, but uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching this review. I have some more reviews coming up pretty soon. Um, got a new keyboard from my mom's house. I got a mat to work on the computers. It's uh, the Mod Mat Extreme, I think is what it's called. Man, is it heavy? It's really cool. Um, and I'll show you guys it in a review soon. I have a SATA uh, dock up there that I had to get. And um, eh, maybe uh, some other cool stuff too. So watch out for those stuff, those reviews in the near future. And thank you guys for watching this review. I'll see you crazy mofos later. Peace out.